Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a review for the new Red Fox playing cards. These are available at ecatmagic.com and they are limited run of 2500 decks. This is also the first deck produced by Ekaterina, who is a well-known magician and YouTuber. Uh, if you haven't seen her YouTube videos, you're definitely going to want to check those out. Uh, she's been on YouTube for probably at least a full 10 years now, and she has cardistry videos, magic, and tutorial type stuff, and also does product reviews for different decks of cards and magic uh, releases, so try that out. Uh, the website, ecatmagic.com, also has some of her signature effects like layers available, so I recommend you check that out as well. For her first release, she went with USPCC, which is the best playing card manufacturer, and uh, these are on premium crushed stock, or also known as B crushed, or crushed B stock, and they are traditionally cut, so it has all the bells and whistles and no expense was spared. The tuck box itself is a very glossy uh, finish to it. It's in a very deep red color and has heavy embossing on the fox design. And that design wraps around the side and onto the back of the cards as well. Other side is blank and then on the top of the deck you have the Ekaterina logo. I'm not sure if that's showing up. My light's just about to blind me. Anyway, bottom has ad copy and on the back of the box there's no seal for the tuck flap but they printed a little tab there. That looks good. I, maybe they will start doing that with a lot of releases instead of putting the old sticky seal on there. Inside of the tuck box is black and to uh, move on to the deck itself, you have a uh, blank face as well as a blank back card. And the back design is a mirrored image of the two foxes. These cards have a thin border on them. And uh, so you have your double backer and this one lacks the foxes, your other gimmick card, so you could do tricks involving you know, making the back disappear. The faces of the cards are standard and the red cards have been color graded to match that back design as well so you get the same shade of red on the faces as well as on the back. Standard faces, uh, these are the standard bicycle court cards and uh, those are my favorite certainly and works well with a minimalist style deck like these. For the Jokers, you don't get a standard joker. Instead, you'll get a uh, card that has the image of the producer of the deck, Ekaterina. And this card matches the gold layers cards that she's kind of made into her signature effect. And uh, I got one of these sent about six or eight months ago as I ordered some stuff from her website. If you order, you may or may not get one of these, which is a signed uh, fox uh, design, also in gold. I don't know if you can see it shimmering there. I don't know how many of those were printed, so I'm not going to promise you you're getting one if you buy, but uh, couldn't hurt to hurry it up anyway. The faces and backs are, like I said, all minimalist design standard faces except for the ace of spades on the ace of spades you get a uh, very simple ace and the ekaterina brand i didn't really care for the ace of spades it's probably the one thing this whole deck i really didn't care for uh, because it essentially just about takes the ace of spades and turns it into an advertising card which nobody likes 
And this is a knock, not one of the Red Fox cards, but I just wanted to show you an example of the uh, different minimalist style aces. This is the knock cards through Theory 11. And they have ad copy and such. Uh, Madison rounders. And these actually say Madison on them, but they did include rounders, so it kind of, you know, fit in with the deck. That's something that's kind of missing with this uh, ace design here. That's a minor complaint, but I had to pick out something negative to say, and that was really about the only thing that stands out. I really like this uh, card stock, Crushed B. There are a few other decks that are printed with this, uh, Mint 2 and uh, Views by Illusionist. I have both of those, and they feel very similar to this. These cards will Pharaoh shuffle uh, from bottom to top since they are traditionally cut. After you break them in, however, you can do top to bottom Pharaohs just as easily. And this should last for a very long time uh, since it is really just about the best stock available, period. And I think you could do a lot worse than picking up these cards. Also, uh, to say a word about the creator of this deck, you know, she's been on YouTube for a decade. First time I saw ECAT was probably eight years ago, somewhere in there, and uh, I had really just started handling cards right around that time, and uh, for the first time seen examples of cardistry while I was looking for, you know, card table work and such, and I had read urban maze and was looking to kind of see some things that uh you know i hadn't run across yet and i stumbled upon cardistry videos and that was the first time i'd seen ecat's work and uh she's been around for a very long time and she printed these cards uh with her own money 20 grand so that was no small investment and i think it's worth the uh, you know backing somebody up when they take that kind of big risk to release something like uh, their first ever deck of cards. So if you happen to be a collector, uh, these are probably a good deck to get. Also, uh, I'd like to say to ECAT, thanks very much for the virtuosos that were sent with my brick and also the smoke and mirrors. So uh, that's a very generous uh, extra bundled in item for you know a couple purchases I made there and I appreciate that well that's about all for this review and I hope you enjoyed it if uh, you did feel free to hit the like and subscribe button and be sure to check out Ekaterina's website and uh, her YouTube channel as well see you around